When working with text, it's often that you want to change the kerning between the letters. Um, one way of doing this is by grabbing the shape tool and then selecting your text. And then if you grab the handle here, you can either drag that in or out. And that will do even spacing between the letters. I'm going to undo that here. Or holding down shift while you do that will give you spacing just between the individual words or holding down, down control will give you spacing between the letters but not so much between the words. Okay, so I'm going to undo that. But let's say we wanted to do even spacing um, by a percentage. In X4 and X5 there are two dockers, uh, character formatting and paragraph formatting. That We'll go ahead and open those up. Character formatting will allow you to change the range kerning, but in order to do that, you actually have to select all the nodes that you want to change. So you select the nodes first, and then you can take your kerning and type in a number, let's say negative 10, and that'll change it by negative 10%. It's a percentage of the height of the letter is what the percentage is. Go ahead and undo that here. For example, let's say we changed Mike to Michael and we saw that it didn't quite fit as well as we would like. We'd have to select all the nodes, negative 15, and it would turn it down that way for us. Um, Another option is to go with the paragraph formatting. Gives you the same similar type of option here with your character spacing. But what we will do here is uh, just type it in negative 10 and you don't have to select the nodes that way. word spacing as well. If you were spacing between words, you can do that. But that gives you a percentage uh, way so that you can make sure that it's the same with all. So if we were to select all three of these lines here at the same time, we can change the character spacing all at once to negative 10, and it'll change it all for us. In X5, uh, which is new from X4, they've added the text formatting docker, which has a lot of the same things uh, from character and paragraph formatting, uh, just in the same docker. Um, so we've got the range kerning here, which would be selected by grabbing your nodes, or under spacing, you've got the character spacing here. So it's just the a place of finding both of those dockers in one. So that would be done here in the text formatting docker. Now one last thing is you can also individually move letters if you need to just by grabbing the handle by the letter. Um, you can move it anywhere you want. If you hold down control it will constrain it so that it has to stay in a straight line as you move, which is helpful. But that's the way that you can kern letters. So we'll go ahead and redo this one here just so that it looks a little nicer. Do all of this, kern it down 5%, and that way it fits a little nicer.